Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. Do we really do this? That is, do we follow his commandment? In the 19th century, Catholics were a minority in the United States. Further, they were among the poorest people in the country. Catholics were working in tough conditions. They were marginalized. They were not considered good citizens. But today, Catholics have one of the most important voices in American society. How did this change happen? Well, for one, in 1852, a son was born to an Irish immigrant family. His name was Michael McGivney, and he would become one of the heroes of the American Catholic story. He was ordained a priest at age 25, and in just a few years, he did something truly great. Father McGivney gathered some men around him at St. Mary's Parish in New Haven, Connecticut, and made them knights. In 1882, the Knights of Columbus were born. These Catholic men were inspired by the values of the gospel, unity, charity, and fraternity. They would help Catholics keep their faith and would show that one could be both a good Catholic and a good American. The Knights of Columbus were everywhere people were in need, really putting into practice the commandment of Jesus to love God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself. Father McGivney formed his knights, charging them to be leaders in the church, in public society, and in charitable works. Today, the Knights of Columbus are the largest Catholic fraternal society in the world. Faith in action is an important motto for knights. The legacy of Father McGivney is today found in the countless smiles of children receiving winter coats and in food shared with families in need. But also, keep the faith alive is another important motto that describes the mission of the Knights. The Knights of Columbus provide spiritual and financial support to students and seminarians and financial assistance and moral formation to members and their families. They deepen members' spirituality to reaffirm the importance of fatherhood and brotherhood. They support the church through donations to the Vatican for restorations and for the Pope's charitable initiatives. Father McGivney changed the heart of America for the better. And from heaven now, he continues to take care of those who knock on his door. Consider the case of one American family whose son was diagnosed with Down syndrome along with fetal high drops when he was in utero, that baby was given no chance of survival. After the family prayed to Father McGivney, the next ultrasound showed no sign of fetal high drops. The healing has no medical or scientific explanation. That boy, Michael, is now five years old. The Church has recognized the miracle through the intercession of Father McGivney. Father Michael McGivney will be beatified on Saturday, October 31st. Join the celebration.